Hey, ladies and gentlemen, quite a few of you were absent <clears throat> Friday during class for impact. I want to go over what information I need from you prior to you filling out the form on the Google Classroom. We uh, talked about choosing your words carefully and then we got into actually identifying what we we're most interested in uh, for semester two. Now with, the, uh, with these topics, these different ideas that we have that are going to be uh, options for you in this semester, it's important that you watch the presentation, I explain to you what those options are, and then you fill out the form on the Google Classroom. Now the form on the Google Classroom is located here under semester two topic selection, which you should have found at the same time that you found this video. And when you click on the form, it's going to have a variety of options for you after you put your name in. Based on your input earlier in the week and the voting you all did, I chose some of the more popular options for you to work on this semester. First and foremost, we are looking at doing a mock trial again. This would be a legal simulation, just like you saw in the media center or in the science lab at the end of uh, semester one in December. And if you're my impact and you choose to participate, you would take on a role of the court staff, probably a lawyer, and prepare a case to be tried again, just like you saw last time. Well, this will be pretty demanding. We're going to go into more depth this semester, and we've got a little more practice with it and some experienced people in our class. So uh, it has the potential to be lengthier and more complex than last time. Uh, there's a lot of strategy that goes into it. There's a lot of rules that you have to understand and have to research and a lot of preparation that you have to do in order to communicate your case effectively and uh, more effectively really than your opposition. So that's option one, mock trial. Second option, several people have expressed an interest in cooking. Now, this is uh, difficult for a number of reasons uh, because we don't have a lot of resources in terms of space or no resources in terms of food. And it's going to take a lot of effort on your part to plan out where we're gonna get recipes, where we're gonna get ingredients, uh, how we're going to prepare, because you just have 30 minute blocks each day. So you might have to do some prep work one day, some cooking the next day, and then some reheating and finalization of the dish on a third day. This could be a multi-day process. And everybody on the team will need to have a role and a responsibility to make sure that you're successful. And you're also going to have to present the food to classmates and give them the background of the dish. So it's not just cooking randomly stuff that looks good to you for fun. You actually have to research the history of this food, explain where it came, comes from, how it's traditionally made, uh, things like that. So it's an informational piece and a little snack. So that's option two. Another option are biographies. Several students expressed an interest in learning more about a person from history. So what I'd like you to do is pick somebody who has achieved great things, good or bad, and try to understand uh, what they went through in their life, what they accomplished, what they had to overcome, and uh, what, they, what they're most known for. So a challenge with this is you're going to have to work on your own mostly. You'll be putting together a variety of sources. You have to do a lot of research on your own, and then you'll present that through a media presentation. You could do a written report. You could also do some sort of historic interpretation where you take on the role of that, that person as a character and, and share an element of their life or a story from their life. So this is um, challenging in its own right, but this is more of a solo project than the previous two. Next option, uh, a, a, sim, excuse me, a simulation based on the uh, strategy game Civilization. And in this strategy game, you start in the uh, ancient era with a little character who's got a stick and a guy who can build a city and over the course of the game time goes by you explore more area you gain more resources and you research and learn more technology and as you're playing this game you're going to see how physical geography technology culture and growth of cities uh, shape how different societies interact or and get along or not get along and that would all be part of the simulation as you interact with each other and some artificial intelligence on the part of the computer. 
again, challenges with that, it's a lengthy process. We're only playing in half hour chunks, so this would take weeks for us to work through. Uh, there are a lot of dense, historic, diplomatic, and economic concepts you're going to have to understand in terms of trade and international relations and bartering and making deals. And their controls are fairly complicated too, but we've, I've got a plan over a couple weeks to get us oriented to that and help you be successful if you choose this. Your fifth choice is an independent study. This is something you usually see in college where you'll be given a range of options and you would choose something that you want to learn more about. Here, uh, pretty much the sky's the limit. There's something that you want to learn about, a person, a place, some events, um, something about culture or politics or society, really anything you can propose that as an independent study research project. Uh, you would have to speak with me about that. We would talk about what you want to learn about and make sure your topic is one that is dense enough to where there's uh, where there's a lot you can learn about it and it won't be too difficult to find that information. And I'll respond to each proposal individually. The challenge with this is it's very self-paced. Uh, you'll be working on your own almost entirely. So this is something where if you're going to tackle this project, you need to have the self-discipline and the motivation to accomplish it without a lot of direction and redirection from me. This is probably the most, potentially the most challenging of the five options. Now that you've known, or now that you know a little bit about your five options, you look back at the Google form, you enter your first name, last name, and then you've got, sorry if this is a little fuzzy in the video, it looks like it's going to be kind of washed out. But your first option is mock trial. You would choose first, second, or third choice, or I'm okay with participating in this activity if you're willing to do it. And five, I really don't want to participate in this activity if it sounds like something you're not interested in at all. As you go through the five options, you can only have one first place, one second place, and one third place choice. So again, your options are cooking, biographies, civilization simulation, and the independent study. All of these activities are going to require some planning on your part, uh, some very focused, independent work, and all of these projects have an, uh, a concluding or culminating event at the end where you're going to either present your trial in your case or you're going to share what you learned about your person or you're going to share your research uh, knowledge or you'll have to uh, provide a dish to your classmates and tell them about the history of it or so on. So all of these will have a, an oral presentation element, so to speak, as well. So think about that, think about what you're interested in, think about what challenge you're willing to take on and your own work ethic, and fill out that form. And I look forward to getting started on Tuesday.